Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Me in the last video, we just uh, completed uh, Lizzie's story. So we've now left the, uh, the main hall of the country park. So let's continue with this. So we're going to follow these lights now and find out who's next on our list of uh, stories. So we, I think we have two more left to do. Looks like that this is going to be another short uh, series, a six video series. Right, so who's this now? It's going to be Rachel or something, is it? Sean, Reese, Denise. Uh, who else could it be that we've not done yet? Charlie, Sam, Barbara. There's two lights, or or could it be Kate and uh, Stephen? I'd love to see what Stephen's uh, storyline is and Kate's one actually, though. Especially with it being two lights up here, it might be two people. Oh, come on, would you walk faster than this? Is it because I was walking uphill? Oh, it's so slow. I don't even think holding R2 does it. Really, I don't think it does. Because I've been holding R2 all the way up and look, there's me taking off R2. It doesn't even change. Ah, this is silly. Come on. So here we go, Steven. Oh, the music's a total different. It's very quick, upbeat, very panicky. Oh, here we go, straight into the telephone box. There's data coming through faster than I can encode it. I've already lost two processors. They keep burning out. Please, I love you. You need to get out of there. It's not safe. I need you, Stephen. I need you here. I can open the gate manually. I can let you in. It's too dangerous. You don't understand what's happening. No, here. you don't understand. We can solve this. We can find a way. I just need more power. I need to amplify the signal, and I can't do it on my own. You saw the opportunity. You ran the numbers, remember? We're responsible for all this. You and me. <laughs> it's not just you and me anymore, though, is it? Jesus, Kate, you're trying to talk to it, aren't you? Kate, you can't. Steven, I have to. Oh, she's trying to talk to it. Oh, no. We're trying to communicate with it. Let's go. Yeah, because I remember she was talking about uh, doing all the the radio towers and stuff like that. All the towers, that they were on the Tower 7. It's completely dead. It won't start. It's only a short walk to the camp. I think we should split up. You go and fetch Rachel. I'll Meg. go back to the village and find Evie. I don't think we should split up. I don't Meg want to meet Charlie. Charlie, but we've got to. I'll meet you back at my house later on. Okay? We can talk properly then. Why won't you tell me what happened? No, no, actually, you should stay at the camp tonight. Come and find me in the morning. Bring Rachel back. She's going to need her mother. Meg. Just take care of her. Meg! What is it, Charlie? Nothing. Just be careful, that's all. I will, I promise. You as well. I'll see you later on. Right. Right, come on, light. Where's next? Right, so. Where's the light? Here it is. Four leads. Oh. 
schon. Here we go. Forley's Builders Merchants. But why on earth are you there? Why aren't you calling from home? It's hard to explain. I'm having to move around to follow it. When it finds a suitable host, it begins to amplify. Sorry, I'm not making much sense. They're talking about flu and a quarantine on the radio, but this... I know you're not that kind of doctor, but it all just sounds really mm. weird. We don't know exactly what it is yet. Uh, excuse me. But it's got something to do with the other night. Stephen, your face, the mark. Do you think you're infected? It's not a disease, Lizzie. It's something else. There's something Kate said about patterns. I can't grasp it clearly yet. Okay, come over. Have some lunch. We can talk properly. Have you spoken with Kate? Well, she's locked herself in the observatory. She's buried in the data. But it's already out here in the world. I need to see how it adapts. How what adapts? Stephen, try to explain. Oh. Turns up. Lizzie, listen. Be ready. I need to go. It's moving again. I'll call you later. Makes awful funny noises when it moves. Between the telephone lines. Why are we walking so bloody slow? Right, where's the light? Yeah, thumbnail. <laughs> oh, was that? A radio beeping it in the yard here. Can we go underneath? Nope. No. Can we go through here? Nope. Right, so. I wonder if it's through here. Ah, oh, they are. There's a the light. Is there a radio here by nearby? Oh. Oh, it's in there. Physical changes are evident. Although the oh. butterfly burn is now Someone. faded, I can clearly see the change in my pores up close. As I record these words, I can feel myself hearing them as if for the first time, as if I'm both speaker and listener simultaneously. Mm, someone in, was in here bleeding. I can only deal with the evidence I have. And this points in one simple direction. Going on holiday. It's not in the observatory. It's in me. Oh. So it is in her. I thought it was a bit funny. So this is where the light was showing me la yeah, earlier on. What's here? Do you think she'll like it? It's in an awful state. Oh, Steve. Wendy's back. Don't It'll be an adventure. This. It'll mean putting down roots here, maybe a family. Are you sure she wants children? What to stay here? It's not her place, you know. Don't stop it again, please. I mean, she's ambitious, love, and she's well older. She's not gonna want to stay cooped up at home looking after the kids. Is that how you felt about me? Oh, stop it, Stephen. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I'm just saying you should make a choice. If it's a family you want, well, you know how much Lizzie wants a family. Jesus, Mum, I didn't come here for marriage guidance. I just asked what you thought about a fucking house. Stephen Appleton language. Sorry, it's just that you have to understand. Stephen Kate Appleton is the most brilliant, language. brilliant, extraordinary, wonderful person I've ever known. She's she's like no one else. The way she looks at things, it's like she has whole worlds inside her head. I don't think you or anyone really understands that. Right. Let's have a quick uh, wander around. I 
No, doesn't look like anything about here. Right, so where are we going next? <laughs> something fell like uh, something. Sorry, it sounded like something fell there. Right, any light in here? Oh, oh, the telephone box. Sorry, I just Stop hit the mic there. <laughs> I keep looking at my screen here, but not up here. I still haven't got used to looking at the camera yet. There's the whistler. That was um, Charlie and Frank. We're talking about having a pint in the whistler. I wonder if we have to go in. Oh, the door's open. Today's local fish and chips. <laughs> you look well. I don't. Oh, but Stephen and Lizzie you. having a date. You do. How are you settling in? Nothing changes around here. I mean, it's great to be back. It still feels like home, I suppose. In a funny kind of way. It's been a long time, Stephen. Last time you saw me, I could still walk properly. You look pretty good to me, how things worked out. Or didn't. Or didn't, right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? Right. Do you think you made a mistake leaving? My mum tells me it's never too late to change things, to put things right. Funny. It's just what she said to me the other day. I have been wondering oh, what she meant God, by that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, maybe I should go. Why? Stephen, we're both married. I don't think this is a good idea. What well, isn't? We're just two old friends having a drink, that's all. Tut, 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 tut. Pub quiz. Wednesday, 8 p.m. Curry and a pint only. Only two quid. Yeah, well, that's, that was in the 80s. So it was cheaper then. Gotta tell you what. Curry and a pint for two pound would be amazing. I mean, you're probably talking about three dollars in America, that kind, you know? Eh, uh, right. Where did the light go? Is it through this way? Oh, my TV went into auto standby mode there, sorry. Eh, uh, no, that's not light down there. No. Oh, hang on. There's a radio. Oh, there's a light over there. There's a radio there. again. I can't move my legs, can't feel my face. When I collapsed, the light was waiting for me there. 
caught me and lowered me here. Now it's pooling around my feet, watching me. The printers are spewing out page after page of zeros. It's frightening, too. It'll be okay. Is this her fusing the the light within her? Right, okay, okay, light, you lead the way. Or should I say Kate, you lead the way? Oh. I've just walked in through that way. is going up there and towards this house. Oh, telephone. No phones, you know the protocol. That doesn't matter now. It's figured out how to circumvent the telecommunications blackout. What? I didn't think it could. Kate understood. She saw how adaptable it was. How smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're talking about it like it's alive. You have to assume that everyone here is infected. We can't know We're that. We're infected. It's killed all the birds, and now it's in us. It's trying to leave the valley any way it can. The quarantine is not enough. You've got to remove the carriers. You've got to cut off its energy source, its food. I've already told you, Stephen, I'm not going to water you an You have to. Right, here we go. Can't do that one. Let's have a look upstairs. That door's all blocked off. No. Oh, this one opens. Nothing in it. Right, so let's go back out and find... Ooh. It's all lit up. No, it's not. It's just because it's a brass uh, thing. We a brass threshold. Right, come on, light. Where are you? can hear the light, I just can't see it. See if I go back the way we just walked in here. Oh, where are you? Come on, lighty, 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 where are you? Right, so when I came up to the house, it was through here. The light went round. Oh. Right, where is the bloody light? Oh, a few of the poppies. Oh, 
Bloody hell, where's the bloody light? Where is it when you bloody need it? Yep, so I came up here. I went in that door instead of going round. More dead birds. Been in the whistler. Hmm. I don't know where the light's gone. Right, let's go through here the way that we were going before. Because I don't see the light anywhere. This takes us to the house that uh, thing we was in. Stephen. Right, I don't understand where I'm to go now. Let's go out into the road and see if the if the lights kicking about anywhere. Right. Oh, there it is. I can see it at the top. Right, so let's go and find this light and then hopefully it'll take us to the next part. What the hell was that noise? Oh. There's all those uh, influenza leaflets. Now I'm sure it went by this way. Yeah, it's down here. I've been in here, have I not? Yeah. Oh, it's over there, right, okay. So this looks like it might be the last part of, of Stevens. Cause that's normally when all the light gets drawn to it. Well, it's not yet. 
It's good to see you at this office. It's a mistake. What do you want me to say? You knew what you were getting into. Really? Well, I'm sorry we don't measure up to your exacting standards, Dr. Collins. Maybe you just need to give us ordinary humans a break. What? Ordinary humans like Lizzie Graves? Did you really think that I wouldn't find out? Frank told me. Or did you forget there's one person in this shithole who actually talks to me? Kate, it was just a dream. Don't bother, Stephen! Oh, for Christ's sake. Kate, slow down. You were engaged to her, Stephen. You nearly married oh, her. Oh, come on, it was just a drink. Then why the hell did you lie to me about because it? Because I knew you'd be mad and then it would end up in a row. You wanted to focus on the event tonight. Oh, so you were actually doing me a favor. Wow, I guess I just forgot to say thank you. Do not treat me like I'm an idiot. You're overreacting. I know, I know you're stressed. Just don't. You keep away from me tonight. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Kate. Kate, come on, this is crazy. Right. So, next one. Tipworth, Havert and Haverton. Must be the two district council ones joined together. Oh, telephone. Hey, where's the light gone? It was in here before. Wonder if you go through here. Oh. Is that the line of the light all the way down there yep what's it doing all the way down there how do I get down there over this it's okay light I see you Okay, oh, there you go. mentioned anything about them sickening yesterday. I checked them last night on the way back and they were fine. I woke up this morning and the whole lot had gone. Tell me, Charlie, have you heard any birds today? Well, I've not really been paying any attention. That sister of mine reckons they're dropping out the sky all around the region. And Dr. Wade reckons they're sick folk all over the village. Max said not to bother trying to get deliveries out. <clears throat> said the quarantine in the whole valley. I reckon it's best we just sit it out. 
It'll all come right, Frank. This'll all come right? Yeah, right. I am sorry about your cows, Frank. But when things settle down, they'll see you all right. There's got to be provision for this sort of thing. You want to listen to the radio more? Things don't seem like they're settling down at all. I tell you, Charlie, oh. something big is happening. Thanks for watching another video of Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. If you liked it, high five the like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that sub button. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. See you in my next video.